Welcome to our two minute review of week 10 of The Apprentice. Start the clock. This week, the teams had to make and brand their own versions of gin. Now, the gin industry is once again growing rapidly. Usually, we try and keep it fairly balanced across both teams. But this week, there was one team that was spectacularly shit. Team Titan was made up of Francis, Trishna and PM Grania. And the first job was to taste different gins for inspiration. Team Nebula wisely used the spit bucket. Titan. Yes. Our spit bucket was empty. Job number two was to create their own gin with advice from an expert distiller. You can add colouring afterwards. Uh, it is generally frowned upon. And of course, they chose to ignore him. Next up was to create a brand and a story. The name offended people. I've got slight negative connotations with the word colony. And they got their geography wrong. India's actually at the top. That's Africa, no? Frances was doing the branding on her own and it was up to the other two to let her know what the ingredients were. This is the boat. No one's really listening to me today and it's actually starting to really piss me off. 19 missed calls. The next morning they had to debrief and get excited about the product. Yeah, I really like it, Fran. Well done. And lastly, they had to pitch well. It's about rejuvenation of exciting spices. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pitch seamlessly. I let the minute you've got your jumper, do your jumper, and pitch honestly. It's Artificial. utterly it's natural. Completely natural. Thank they you. told the potential buyer that the colouring came from natural orange peel. Well, it didn't. And it wasn't even like Nebula were any good. They made a raspberry gin that didn't taste of raspberry. I'm not sure I get raspberry. It's not. It's something out. No. The branding was. Sh you could change the colour to suit the flavour. Maybe yeah, even another colour. He doesn't say raspberry to me. And Courtney's pretty boring. There's no personality, no character, no warmth, no passion. Despite all that, Nebula did win by £65,000. 3,000 bottles, that's, that's very good. In the end, it was Trishna that was fired. It is with regret, Trishna, that you're fired. So, Lord Sugar, what do you think of our two-minute review? Well, this is rubbish. And don't forget, 9pm BBC One.